Hello and welcome to another of my painting tutorials. This time I'm going to be painting a Barrow White, who of course attacked Frodo and the other hobbits and um, were saved by Tom Bombadil in the books, but not in the films, sadly. Sadly that scene was missing out. Um, I've painting four at the same time here, unlike in my previous videos where I've just focused on one. Um, this was purely because I was going to paint them anyway. I wanted to show you how I was going to do it because I'd started on one. Um, so I thought I'd do all of them as one and see what a batch painting video looks like. Um, and uh, as you can see in the left of the video there, one of them has already been done to a, about halfway. Um, the others I'm kind of painting up to match up to that one. So I'm starting with a Fenris grey uh, base coat on all of the kind of ethereal bits, the cloak bits, the face, the hair, the hands, basically the majority of the model. Uh, I do love a Fenris grey uh, colour, so... There you go, there's a shot of all the paints I'm using. If you want to, just screenshot that um, and get those paints, then that's fine. I'll give you a list later on, perhaps at the end of the video. Uh, now I'm just going for the highlight with Space Wolves Grey straight on there. Um, not taking a lot of care on here because I'm going to wash it later, but um, just kind of leaving the recesses of uh, Fenris Grey uh, right in the folds of the cloth and, and the face in particular, just in the sort of... Um, I suppose the the shadowy parts of the face and the hair and things like that just leaving a nice nice dark layer under there uh, just highlighting around the whole model and um, there just be uh, be careful that you don't go into those the holes in the cloak as well and and um, I'm trying to avoid the metal as best I can um, while painting these um, it doesn't really matter I suppose because you're coming back to it later but I like to have a black base coat for any kind of metals just because um, it keeps it quite unified so do be careful to avoid that if you can um, I really like these Barrow White models. There are two variants I know of. There may be others. I think it is just these two. Um, I got them from a box set. This um, uh, Fog on the Barrow Downs, which has got Tom Bombadil and four Hobbit uh, markers in, um, which I've also painted up. Anyway, now, next on to the next thing, we've got a highlight again. This is just a, basically a mix of white and um, Space Wolves Grey. And I'm just going very carefully on the very tips of those um, folds and just being super careful not to uh, not to get in the cracks see a little bit of it me using my finger to rub a bit off uh, just if you do go over a bit too much or it's a bit too heavy just wipe it away with your finger and um, and also it's worth wetting your palette a bit more or just having a bit more water in the mix just to make those highlights not quite so sharp um, I always find that's one of the main issues especially with um, when I'm not used to painting a certain kind of model, I find that I, I sometimes I highlight too strong, um, but always worth doing a sort of slightly lighter layer. Um, but as I said earlier, I'm actually my get around of this. It's a great way of making those edge highlights looking a bit, I suppose, a bit less sharp, is purely by doing a wash of azure and blue, which is what I'm doing here. So it just takes the edge off those highlights and makes it look less sharp and also just unifies all those four colours together. Um, the, sorry, the three colours together are the Fenris Grey, the Space Wolves Grey and the white uh, mix. Uh, the white mix wasn't a 50-50 mix, it was just a little bit of Space Wolves Grey just to keep it on, but mostly white. Then the azure and blue all over. Now on to gold on the armour. As you can see on the model on the right, I've already done some gold. Uh, but here I'm just painting the the armor pads on the shoulder, the ar the armors on the hands, and the belt on this variant of the model. Um, then on the other one, it's uh, kind of the two shoulder pads, and then the two waist plates, and that's it on the other one. And the um, I don't think they have any uh, greaves on the arms, do they? I don't know. I can't see from here, but I don't think they do. So uh, it's a bit quick there, but um, you should be able to get the general gist. Um, there we go. Yes, and then we're almost onto the the uh, the final bits now because it's it's actually a very easy model to paint. I find, and um, that's a bit of a flash of bulk of metal there, uh, in case you missed it. Um, just going on there with the armor, and on the chainmail. Just be careful on the chainmail, of course. Leave it, don't go too heavy on that, as you would expect, and reverse on the reverse side of it as well. I just think these are really nice models to paint. They're really they're really evocative and the the poses are really nice and um, yes there are only two poses but can't be too bothered by that um i just really 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 like them so now onto a reichland flesh shade wash on all of the golden bits um i just think it makes a perfect gold if you use the combination of retributor armor and reichland flesh shade it just looks fantastic um 
you know, GW have never been very good at making gold, but that was a brilliant one. So uh, Devlan mud now on all of the metal. Uh, just very simple wash there. And then I think we're going to go back to the highlights again. Yeah, so we're just very carefully painting the eyes and highlighting the um, very extreme highlights on the thing. Now, very carefully, not a lot, if you, as you can see here, um, because obviously that highlight's already there, been covered by the blue, but we just want to add a bit more, sharp, uh, sharpen it slightly. So uh, hopefully that uh, comes out nicely. And I think it, it's looking all pretty good so far, as you can as you can see, I hope you you think so as well. I like the style of these models, and I love the I love the uh, the sharp white on the edges there, just to kind of make it feel like a bit more evil. I think it has a really sharp white. Highlighting with a bit of chainmail on all of the chainmail armor. You can on the some of the one variant of the barrel white's got those square bits of armor, which I love. I think they're really easy to make into bright silver. You just got the dark bog and metal underneath, and then a, a, a chainmail on top after the wash. And um, as you can see there as well, the sharp armor as well just looks great with a bit of a highlight then i'm going on to the bases uh, almost done but models just don't look finished without a, a nice base coat so paint scorch brown on all of the bases and then i did a mix of uh, scorch brown and uh, codex gray to dry brush the sand on the bases um i didn't don't know why i just decided i wanted it to look gray and kind of a drab um, so i've done that and then i'm putting a bit of pva glue on there very simple and then a bit of static grass um, i've heard a lot of people talking about static grass applicators but using a bit of dead grass i just dab it on and it never seemed to look too bad for me and then i did a little bit of lighter grass as well and there you go that is uh, four barrow whites uh, for a lord of the Rings strategy battle game hope you enjoyed the mini tutorial um and just tell me what you think of uh, of the style of this video there you go uh, a shot there with all of the barrows on the barrow whites with the uh, with the hobbits that they've paralyzed thanks for watching if you want to check out some of my other videos i've got a tom bombadil painting guide which is from the same box set as these barrow whites and also i've been painting an ent and some riders of rohan so keep an eye out on the channel or just subscribe thanks for watching